This small and straightforward hack is going to save you a lot of trouble if you are trying to create a simple crown splash with liquid simulation in Blender 3D. So let's dive right in and get started. So to create this simulation, I'm just going to bring a simple cube and scale it down like this. So I'm just going to turn this background darker. So this views the particles much more clearly. Now just apply the scale and from the object quick effect, select liquid simulation. Now just go to the front view or any other view and go to the edit view and scale this domain down and pack it nicely. Leave it close enough so that it, it, it doesn't intersect with our emission object and just leave about gap which is equal to the resolution cube which is right here in this corner. Now that this domain is packing this emission object closely, we won't have to actually wait for liquid to settle down first and then start our simulation. So now this way we are ready to sort of drop in a colliding object and make a simulation of ground splash. So just bring one uh, simple icosphere, scale it around this big. If you want, you can shape this up. If you want, you can shape it in any other way you want. Maybe a stone or pebble or something. So about at frame 15, you can just set a key and position this right above the fluid. And uh, in about eight or 10 frames, make an animation and pass this through our liquid, liquid object. So we have the simple animation. Uh, actually, it's a good idea to add some more animation into this maybe a rotation or something just in case if simulator is picking up any other additional detail from the physics properties apply a fluid modifier on this and set this to effector now the hack that we are discussing today is pretty simple now first let's complete this one uh, just set about uh, five sub sampling sub steps because it's a fast moving object so that this registers more clearly to the fluid simulator and give it some thickness now you can see once we give it some thickness it's sort of colliding with the flow object and creating this nice simple effect now you might be wondering that this is the way to create the simulation but the problem is doesn't matter how hard i try maybe if i increase the surface thickness or increase the subsampling steps or maybe even if you try and try increasing the resolution from here it's not actually going to form a nice ground splash here so i tried many times now what we are going to do is on this object, let's call this pebble. On this pebble, we are going to create a force field. And this force field is going to be about uh, set the max distance to which covers just enough area around our object. Now think of it like a force that a moving object carries around it. So let's say 0.15 and that's it. Set the strength to let's say 30 or something. Now, even now nothing is happening. That's because I forgot to change the shape of this force field and set it to surface. Once we do that, you'll see the effect is much more clearer. Now, if we increase this strength to 50 or something, this is going to create a much better splash. Maybe I need to increase the distance, max distance. Yeah. So it's starting to create a splash. But the thing is, we don't have deep enough water particles here, the liquid particles. So first let's change this to APEC or something, gives a much better results. The other thing we are going to talk about is narrow bandwidth. So if you increase the narrow bandwidth to about 10, then this is going to fill up the entire space for the emitter. Now that we have much more particles here in the depth, this is going to create a much better follow through animation. Now select the pebble and maybe increase the strength yeah now let's slow this animation down a bit so that the force field registers for slightly for few more frames i think it's creating a much better splash now but let's do a few more tweaks and i think what if i increase the resolution now and there you have it. You have a crown simulation, but I think the scale of the simulation is looking a way too big for our need. So I'm going to reduce the strength a bit and try a few more times. So you can clearly see here, pretty decent looking 
formation of crown splash here now it's not the best in the world it's better than what we were creating before with the default setting i think what we need to do is extend the the boundaries of this tank and once i do that i might will have to accommodate more particles maybe increase resolution a little more so i'm going to make a few more tweaks here so that it looks slightly more finished So I think this looks pretty good and now only thing we need to do is make the mesh as well and uh, for mesh maybe a press to 3 and uh, I don't want to smooth negative or positive. Let's see how this turns out. And by the way a very important update in latest blender versions if you make any changes in emitter object or domain object it instantly resets the preview all the changes reflect in your simulation with the live feedback you don't need to shuffle any number or reset the cache or do anything this used to be a thing that every time you make a change you'll have to come back to domain and shuffle a few numbers to reset the simulation and let's try and apply smooth modifier on this yeah i think this looks pretty good now to render this out, I'm going to increase the boundaries of the main tank and then I might have to change the dimension of the emitter as well. I'll do that and bake the simulation and then come back. So this is going to take a few more minutes. So there it is, the final animation. You can see now around the main simulation of the crown, we have slightly more gap. Here are the settings. I increase the resolution division to 128 times temps to 8 and 4. Uh, but I think uh, even on the lower resolution, the effect was looking pretty decent. So if you can afford, you can try high resolution settings, help add some more finer details like these ripples and all that. And overall the meshing, the sheeting is much more finer than this chunky mesh and bigger particles. So that's about it. For the material, I literally haven't touched the material much. It's absolutely default material that ships with Blender when you apply some liquid simulation on top of it. And uh, let's render it out and see. I have a camera and I set the camera to about 115mm and set it right in front of the uh, ground splash and add some depth of field and let's render it out and see. That's it. This is the effect. So that's it about this tutorial. It was quick and easy one. Considering the amount of time we have put into this, it looks pretty good. So just try your version. Tag me on Instagram with Instaclass Mind or drop it on Discord. I would love to see it. If you guys want this file, I'll put it on Gumroad just in case. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next chapter.